Hi, this is Ethos 7778 for Gaming Glitches and Scrub United. Now, today I'm going to review ODST. ODST is a very, actually, it's an amazing Halo game. It's the only Halo game I seem to like, actually. Halo 1, pretty good. Halo 2, pretty good. Halo 3, sucked ass, pretty much. That was that. Um, whereas this one is actually pretty good. It's a lot more challenging mainly because the brutes are incredibly hard to take down if you go up against a lot of them at one one go unless you leg it, that is, and then attack them strategically the game is set in a city well, you know, basically, Halo 2 Halo 2 storyline um, when the dropship disappears through the warp to before the slipgate thing, yeah? well, that's where you start now you're an ODST trooper you end up going, and he's dropping down in a drop pod he gets hit by that wave and goes off course and loses his squad and you're basically tracking down in the squad but, and the unique thing here is not only are you tracking down your squad you are actually seeing, playing as your squad through your flashbacks once you find an item or, um, on a waypoint now I have to say for one thing that's pretty innovative and I have to congratulate Bungie for this they did well on that game I think it's what Halo 3 should have been but there we go. Um, it's challenging, and you have to also, if you want to, you can go and find recordings that are scattered all over the place and terminals that are just everywhere. Those terminals are hard to find sometimes. I mean, I spent an hour trying to search for a terminal, found it, and couldn't find the next one for two hours. But it's worth it. All I can say is, it's a very well in depth game, plenty of weapons to choose from, plenty. You've got carbines, you've got rocket launches, you've got fuel wall cannons, but you've got the sword, you've got absolutely hell of a lot of stuff. It's worth every minute of it. You've got lo all the vehicles from Halo 3. You've got, well, nearly all the vehicles. Um, you've got... You can't... Uh, you have to remember, you're going to be weak than Master Chiefs, so don't try jumping on any wraiths anytime soon, because you ain't going to survive it very often. If you do, you'll be bloody lucky. Um, there is a unique feature to this game, which is it's got a multiplayer feature where you can where you don't versus you play with your friends on um, a kind of survival kind of thing, a bit like Gears of War's um, horde system. The difference being that you can't do matchmaking; you can only play with friends. Now, in my opinion, that's a good thing for the Halo series because I've played Halo 3 online and it totally annoyed the hell out of me. And so, you know, always these little kids who like just, you know, moan and moan and moan about absolutely everything, and it's better than not being on it. So, you can only play your friends, which is, a, as I said, a good thing. Um, maps, they could have a few more, but the maps were taken from the game, so that's brilliant. Um, that means you know exactly where everything is, where you're going, things like that, so it makes sense. The only thing I wish it would have is. Actually, no, actually I don't think there is anything I wish it would have. No, because you can play co-op in it as well, which you think would be easier, but it's not actually, it's just as hard. The only problem is you do the walk back feature, which is not as challenging, because all you have to do is have two mates and one of them hanging back, which means the other one can warp in, and that makes Legendary and other modes extremely easy. But apart from that, it's a brilliant game, and I suggest to give it a try. Because 8 plus 7778, signing out.